Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you're all well today. And so today we're going to have a quick look at the Skywatcher Evolux or Evolux 62ED OTA. And it's a very attractive compact little uh, OTA this. And as with most of our products, if available, you can support our channel by purchasing in the link in the description below. I, I am aware that I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but as the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink if it doesn't want to. And uh, a final little quote, uh, use it or lose it. So onto this scope. First thing I noticed really when I looked at the specification, otherwise, other than the price of retail of 359, which makes it more expensive or around about the same price as the Evo, e, the Evo Star 72 ED. But this one apparently has much better construction and is a, an upgrade in optical quality compared to the, the Evo Star. The other thing I noticed, the first thing I looked at in the specifications, I thought two and a half kilograms, no way, N not for a 62 mil. And it says with included accessories. So I thought that that must surely include the the aluminium case, but no, this little scope. I don't know if it's carved out of granite and made from cast iron. I don't know, but boy, it, it is two and a half kilograms, and it's only that long. Two and a half kilograms. That that is, this is one without doubt the most solid telescopes I've, I've ever handled. Uh, nearly did my back in pull, taking it out of the box, I was so surprised. And the construction is second to none. So what we have here is a, a 62mm APO lens assembly, EED glass, and what you have is the 62mm objective lens, and it is a 400mm f6.45 but there is a, a focal reducer corrector that you can get that makes it into a 360mm f5.8 uh, and the, the focal reducer is uh, available uh, to purchase separate. So you have a dual speed 2.4 inch 2.4 inch frac and pinion focuser and there you have the main focus and the fine tune and I believe it's a hundred to one ratio. It will accept two inch accessories which I shall come on to shortly. You can also purchase a grab handle that goes on the top available separate and unlike the images so far on the website it will accept not one but two finder scopes or what, what, or what other accessory will fit onto there. Something I noticed that with a lot of uh, Skywatcher finder scope brackets there's a little groove in there because you can see there there's a little part at the bottom there which slides into the bracket but I, I put one of these on here eventually and it goes on nice and securely so that, that's, not, that's not going anywhere so but very good there to have two finder scope brackets. Uh, it does not come with a diagonal or any eyepieces. What you see here is what you get other than the case and the case does have uh, uh, removable compartments such for accessories such as the um, the reducer corrector that you can buy. And I've mentioned the weight, two and a half kilograms. Yes, it is two and a half kilograms. And the tube length is 295 to 370 millimeters. And so the draw tube pulls out of a sunshade, nice and smoothly. Just having a look inside here, I believe there's some sort of a rubber ring round there to stop the screws scratching on, on the OTA. So it's looking like a really nice little scope this. The focus here, there is a, a brass compression ring inside there so you don't scratch the accessories. 
and it is an index marked focuser there which goes very very smoothly and you can tighten it above and below and also you'll notice it comes with a standard Skywatcher dovetail bar so it, it will go on to most uh, EQ mounts and if you was to put it on a, a, a piggyback on top of another scope bear in mind this weighs two and a half kilograms plus the OT, OTA or whichever scope you are using so it so I have a very very suitable and sturdy mount so it is described as a short tube OTA it can be used with a diagonal I will come on to that very shortly it can be used as a guide scope or even a spotting scope and then again you might just want to use it as a very very high quality wide, uh, wide field telescope I, I also found with this I, I um, haven't got one with me with this video but I do have them in stock I, I put in a two inch T adapter and I found that I could very very easily get the uh, uh, prime focus without any other extensions needed and with a with a um, my EOS crop frame camera there was no vignetting or, or cropping needed whether or not you need to crop with a full frame I don't know right moving on to then I mentioned diagonals one issue we had with the 72 ED is that it would not work you couldn't there was not enough inward focus to be used with a 45 degree prism diagonal no problem with a mirror diagonal with 90 degrees but the 45 degree ones you could not get focus so what I have here I did one earlier is a, a 45 degree prism diagonal and a 2 inch eyepiece so what I will do I will very very carefully put them in and what I found was rather than put it straight in put it in an angle like that straighten it up and it slides in nicely now I just tested this with with a solar filter and I got some glorious views of the Sun with about 15 millimeters of inward travel left over so unlike the 72 EVA star no problem at all getting infinity focus with this with a 45 degree diagonal and I think you'll agree you walk into an astronomy club or go to a star party with this setup uh, and with a couple of more accessories stuck on top here you're going to turn a few heads believe me and the views through this like I think with this 26 millimeter eyepiece give about 15 magnification and and uh, you know if you're using this diagonal or a 90 degree one the, the the views you're going to get through that are going to be absolutely stunning and uh, I think you'll agree it looks a very very nice setup and by all means if you want to have a chat with us about this complete setup then drop drop us an email and uh, I'll see what I can do so that's it that's a, ver a very quick look at the uh, Skywasher Eva Lux 62 ED well it went on a little bit longer than my usual videos very very solid piece of machinery and supposed to be optically a step up from the previous model and uh, it'd be great to see people's results uh, on the interweb of the images they've taken with this scope so as always thank you very much for watching please stay safe and we'll see you next time